this is how I connect my phone cable to my um, to my I2C devices. Next step is to take this shrinking tubes. The thinnest one for the wires and a very thick one for the cable. The thick one will go around like this. So I can cut here. The small one can be cut into pieces of, let's say, this size. Next step is to find a color fitting. In this case, I'm using black as ground, red as VCC, then yellow for data and white for clock. I have to keep this consistent in my whole house, and otherwise I will get confused very soon. Now I'm putting these shrink tubes. Okay, this is again my I2C monitor. And as you see, I can now change the values of the I2C byte depending on which jumper cables I'm putting there. This is the hardware setup, Raspberry Pi, um, the four wires going into the cable and coming out there, to the GPIO connector. And yeah, you can see here I can put the jumper there and it depending on the jumper it reads different values so now let's install it to the house